What's up guys, Adam here with another home improvement video. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to install an interlock kit on your main panel. But before I get into all of that, if you're new to the channel and you like how to's and do it yourself type videos for around your home, whether it be new projects or I show you a bunch of money saving techniques on how to make repairs around the house, then consider hitting that red subscribe button down below. And if you like the content of the video, please let me know by leaving a comment down in the comment section and also giving the video a thumbs up. Now, most of you are gonna know exactly what this piece of metal does, but just to do a brief overview, what this does is it basically dummy proofs the main panel so that you cannot have your generator breaker on at the same time as your main power. The reason for that is if, for instance, you had utility power coming in and you also had the generator breaker on, it's gonna be sending that utility power to your power inlet box. So if you were to touch inside of that power inlet box, you would be electrocuted. Or if your generator was hooked up to it, it would very well fry your generator. Vice versa, if the generator is plugged in, you have no utility power, the power is out, but you have both of those breakers on, any power, or some of the power I should say, that is being generated by that generator is then gonna be backfed into the utility lines where it could possibly injure or electrocute a lineman that's trying to work on the lines to fix your issue. So again, this basically just dummy proofs your panels to where you cannot have both of those breakers on at the same time. It just is a piece of metal that just slides. And as it's open like this is now, this would allow for the main breaker to be on, but the generator breaker would not be able to be on. It would not be able to go up. And then once you close it up, th at this point, the main breaker would have to be down but your generator circuit breaker would be able to be on at this point. So again, it's just a safety mechanism that really should be used anytime you're using a power inlet box uh, in, in regards to connecting it to a generator. So now that we've kind of done a brief overview of this, let's go ahead and get started with the installation. All right guys, so now we're out here at the main panel. First thing we need to do is get the cover off. Next, we need to turn the main power off to the house so that as we're working on this, there's no chance of electrocution. So now that the power is off, the next step with this particular interlock kit, I've already removed the front plate from this that slides. This is the back plate. And on the back of the back plate, there's two pieces of adhesive on there. And we're gonna remove the backing here in just a second. And we're gonna stick it up underneath of the main circuit breakers. And then our breakers underneath of here is gonna go in between there stick it up on there so that then once this is stuck, we'll take this plate off and we'll be able to take it into the garage and drill our holes then to then affix this to the metal permanently. All right, so now that back plate is stuck on there, we can now take this panel off. All right, for this particular interlock kit, it wants the generator circuit breaker to be over here. Not all interlock kits are the same. Some of them will actually want the generator circuit breaker to be over here. But for this one, it wants it over here on the left side. So we're gonna have to switch these two to get, the, this is the generator breaker. We need to get it over here on the left side. All right, so now that we've got our generator breaker where we need it to be, we'll go into the garage with the plate and we'll drill our holes for the interlock kit. All right, so now that we've got our panel cover in the garage, we can now drill our holes. And what this is for is so that we can get our post to come through the panel cover, the back plate of the interlock kit, and then ultimately then through that front plate that slides, it'll, they'll go through that front plate so then it'll have something to slide on. And we're going to use an 1164 drill bit in order to drill this. And we're going to use these pre-drilled holes that were already in the back plate. And I've got the plate up on two pieces of wood on both sides so that I don't put any holes through the workbench here. So now that we've got our holes drilled, we need to flip the panel upside down. And on the back side here, we need to file down 
where the drill the drill bit came through as there's going to be metal that's protruding here left over the screws that are going to go through this they need to sit flush with this panel so we need to really get these down flat All right, so now that we've got all of our holes drilled and we were able to file down the metal on the back side of this panel cover so that our screws that come with the kit that hold everything together, the heads are able to sit flush up against the panel cover metal. So at this point, we're able to reattach the front plate to the back plate. And we do this by using the binder screws that come in the kit and they'll insert in through the back part of this panel cover up through the holes in the back plate and then of course through the holes then in the front plate and then we'll tighten them down using the binder post or the nuts that come in the kit we'll tighten them down to where it's tight but and everything's together but this front plate is still able to slide back and forth And of course you want everything to be more than just finger tight so you can flip over the panel use a screwdriver to tighten down the screws use your other hand to hold the nut in place while you tighten the screw down you want to tighten everything down real nice but you don't want to over tighten it to where then the front plate of the interlock kit cannot slide all right so now that we've gotten everything tightened down and this front plate is still able to slide freely that's exactly how we want it to be now we'll go back out to the main panel and put the panel cover back up on there and test the interlock kit out on the circuit breakers. All right, so now that we've got our panel cover back on, we can test to make sure that this goes back and forth freely, which it does. If you did find that there was an issue with it being able to clear this top breaker here, it was getting say, stuck right there and it couldn't go any further. What you'd have to do is you'd have to take all this off and take it apart and re-drill your holes a little bit higher so that then you could get the clearance. But it's clearing it just fine. So let's pretend like we're going to be running our generator. We got this over to the left. So now this main breaker, it can't be turned on. It won't allow me to turn it on. But I am able to turn on the generator breaker. So let's, let's pretend like our power has come back and we're turning off our generator. So we'll turn off the generator breaker. We'll turn this over to the right. And so now I can't turn that generator breaker on anymore. It's stuck. But I can turn on the main breaker to the house. And since the main breaker is on, I can't move the interlock kit over to the left. It, so therefore I cannot turn on the generator breaker. I'd have to turn off the main power again to then be able to clear that to turn on the generator breaker. You can also add stickers now to your panel. These, and for instance, are the instructions in order to switch everything over to generator power, what to do. And then there's also stickers for each of the circuit breakers. So one says main. And the other says generator. All right, guys, so that's pretty much all there is to installing an interlock kit on your main panel and some information on how interlock kits work and what exactly they do. This way, making it makes it impossible for you to accidentally leave both of the breakers on and possibly sending generator power back into the utility lines. And when the power comes back, any chance of utility power coming in and going to your power inlet box and frying your generator or possibly electrocuting you. So this was a pretty easy installation. The interlock kit that I put on there, I ordered off of interlockkit.com, but I will also post some links down in the description below of some other popular interlock kits that you can go check out. Just make sure that they match your particular panel. And as you look at each one, it will let you know how to check whether or not it fits your panel or not. So that's gonna pretty much wrap it up for this video. I hope that you found it to be helpful and informative. And if you did, please let me know by leaving a comment down in the comment section and also giving the video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. 
And again, if you like how to's and do it yourself type videos for around the home like this one, I do a lot of videos on new projects and also a bunch of videos on money saving techniques and repairs for around the home. So that's what this channel is all about. So consider hitting that red subscribe button down below and I hope to see you in the next video.